Are you struggling with giving up soda and don't know where to start? Well, stay tuned to this video. I'm going to explain to you exactly how to do it and take the first steps. Hey, Jason here. And you know, if you've been watching me for a minute, you know I've been going through the success puzzle, which is part of Bob Proctor's self-study coaching program. And I've been going through it with you, sharing a lot of tips. And one of two of the areas we've been focusing on is success, and the other one is attitude. And so just to go back to success, success is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. And attitude is a composite of our thoughts, feelings, and actions, which leads to our results. And so these two co correlate to each other. So if you want to be successful, you need to have an attitude that's successful towards that goal or towards that worthy idea that you're trying to reach. And so the, this video came from, uh, came from my nephew asking me a question this morning. He uh, texted me. He was like, hey, how can I stop drinking soda? I want to be able to drink more water. And one, I'm proud of him for coming to that conclusion of his life because a lot of us don't do come to that conclusion. We just keep going along the patterns that we are used to or having the same type of health or declining health that is comfortable or being seen within our families. Um, and so I understand where he's coming from because remember, he's my nephew. And so that means we grew up with the same family patterns, meaning the things that he was taught, I was taught, like, it's the same thing. And what I mean by that is, like, think about it. Like, Thanksgiving is like a perfect example of how we, we're ritualistic and there's just habits that we do, especially around eating. Most people around Thanksgiving, at least in America, if you're not having some kind of dressing, stuffing, a turkey, whether it's uh, baked or fried, if you're in Texas, I know you're getting your honey baked hams. Like all of these things are foods that we eat off of habits. We don't eat them because we really want them. We eat them from a habit. And we have that for holidays. We also have that for when we're in certain emotional states. Uh, like one of the things you always see in movies and stuff, they always portray when women are depressed or they're heartbroken, they go eat a tub of ice cream. And that's, sh that's just showing you like there's habits around eating that we have uh, when we're in certain different states. And so we have a daily eating habit also. Most of us only eat around five to seven foods and that's it. Uh, we think we eat more foods than we do, but we really don't. We have a very ritualistic way of eating. And... Uh, so you, you have to learn how to change this or catch some of these rituals. And it's hard. It's hard to catch your habits around eating. Uh, you have to remember the person you're seeing in front of you right now, man, I wish you, I, I wish I would have been comfortable and I had the self-confidence to film back then when I was really transitioning. I didn't know what I was doing out here. I was just trying to figure it out. Me and Chantel, uh, my late wife, uh, we were just trying to figure it out. And we were just testing, 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 like, Hey, something got to stick to the win. Like, and that's what we were doing. And so I want you to learn from the mistakes that I made so you can just get straight to the goal and go to something bigger. And so that's why I do a lot of these videos, especially when it comes around uh, food and health, because that's the biggest area that really bothers us. Um, wealth is important. However, most of us don't feel healthy enough that we can ever become wealthy. And really think about that because it's really deep. When I figured that out, I started realizing a lot of my money problems and money mindset was really coming from my health. And so once I changed my health and uh, reversed that, it changed a lot of my money uh, mindset and money issues. And so how do you actually start changing this habit? Or how does he become a person who doesn't drink soda anymore? So this is how you do it. Let's go back to the definition of attitude. It's the composite of our thoughts, feelings, and actions, which lead to our results. So the result we already know, let's just reverse engineer. The result we already know. The result wanna be a person that drink more water. So look at a person that drinks more water. We know right off their action is they don't drink a lot of soda or any. I'm one of those type of people, I don't drink any soda. So the average person cannot just jump to not drinking any soda when they're accustomed to drinking soda on a daily basis and in multiple uh, multiple situations. Like the average person usually drinks about four or five liters a day. Not four or five, yeah, the liters, the one liter bottles a day. Because uh, people drink a lot of soda and don't realize it. So to go from that much soda to zero and drinking just water, which usually is gonna come across bland, no taste and boring, 
That's the emotional state that you're going to feel from it. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to do it. So how are you going to be able to do it? Go back to the definition of, of uh, success. It says the progressive realization. So how do you progressively move to someone not drinking soda? This is a lot easier. It gives you a lot of wiggle room depending on who you are, uh, what your uh, habitual use of soda is, and also what is your chemical addiction, addiction to soda. Because your body is used to taking in soda that much sugar on a daily basis. So there is a chemical addiction there also. So how I explained to them was, however many sodas you drink in a day today, commit to drinking one less tomorrow. Think about that. You're just drinking now one less. And you're going to replace that one less with a cup of water. So you're just doing a swap. You're like, okay, let's say if you drink four, four cans of soda, what's that, 20 ounce of cans or something, 20-ounce uh, cans. If you drink four of those a day, today's Wednesday here in South Africa, so tomorrow, Thursday, you will drink three cans. And on that fourth, where well, you would drink that fourth can, you need to drink a glass of water. Now, this is the funny part about progressing. You can keep going this each day to your own drinking no water, or you can make it, okay, now, next Thursday, I'm going to drop it down to where I'm only drinking two cans of soda. Or you can say, you know what, the first Thursday of November, I'm going to drop it down to two cans of soda. That's what progressive means. This is why most of us are never reaching our goals, especially when it comes to weight and health. Because we're thinking, oh, I got to go straight to the, this opposite person who I've never been. One, it's expensive. Two, you don't know what the hell you're doing. And it's, you get, you're just lost. Even if you're Googling stuff on the internet, you're not going to get the right information right away. Uh, trust me, it took me four years to figure out some of the, the right people to follow and the right information. Like, you have to dedicate a lot of time to it. And so that's what progressive is. You have to focus on the progressive based on you and how fast or how, how fast or how committed you are to change. Uh, so for me, uh, let me see, what was the last time? Uh, let's talk about cheese. I, Cause cheese was the last thing that I really gave up uh, before I became fully plant based. So at that time, I was still living in Panama, uh, in Central America, and giving up cheese, it was, it was hard, man. I am not gonna lie, it was hard. However, Panama was a blessing for me. The cheese there sucked, it was horrible. And if you wanted decent cheese, it was so overpriced, I was just like, it wasn't no point in getting it. So how I did it was, I slowly declined on cheese. And how I did it was, I slowly declined on different junk foods with cheese or uh, like I was eating, um, making grilled cheeses a lot, things like that. And I just slowly declined on it. I did it on a weekly basis. Like each week I was like, let me get less out of me, less out of me. And what happened after like two and a half months, slowly then I started realizing each time I was eating a little piece of cheese, I started having a reaction in my stomach. And so then it was like, okay, I can just go on and let it go. I didn't just stop it overnight. Uh, it actually, it took me a little bit of time. And I, then after that, I realized, Hey, I don't need it anymore. Now, after I felt good for a couple of months, <laughs> this is just show you the learning curve when you don't have no one to teach you. And this is why I want you to learn from my mistakes. Uh, we had went to a resort in Panama and they had cheese pizza. And me and Chantel at the time, both of us were like, you know, it ain't gonna hurt us. We've been doing great. We feel great. No pain anymore. Looking good. Man, we ate that cheese pizza. <laughs> the next day we were hurting. My joints was hurting. My back was hurting. She wasn't feeling good. And then we just realized, we was like, yo, it's just time to let this go. And so the reason why I shared that with you is, once you make these progressive steps, let it go. Just don't, you go, it's gonna come to a tipping point where you're like, you know what, I don't need it anymore? And believe yourself. Don't let anyone convince yourself. Don't let peer pressure of maybe no other options available. Cause it's not worth it. Every time I kept doing that and learning that mistake, I looked back and I was like, man, why did I even, it wasn't enjoyable. And so, hope you got some value from this. That is the progressive way to actually reach your goal, especially if you want to stop drinking soda. And it's about changing attitude. If you want to know more information about how to change attitude, watch some of the other videos here. Uh, 
or if you're like if you're in South Africa now, if you're in Johannesburg, South Africa, and if you want to start changing some of your eating habits or drinking habits, you can hit me up personally, and uh, we can talk. Uh, if you're in the U.S., you got to watch the video. Sorry. <laughs> but have a great day. Uh, hit the video if you like it, and subscribe if you want to see more of this. And I'll see you next time.